Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Medici and I have recently passed AZ400 which is basically Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer Expert and uh, in this video I will give an exam review because uh, before taking the exam I, act I actually search over YouTube uh, like you know to searching for recent exam reviews what I got is not absolutely true I'm not sure why people uh, don't share the actual information uh, so I thought of creating a small video and uh, with uh, hoping that this video may help if you are planning to uh, go for AZ400 AZ and this video will be very short and in this video I'll just tell my exam experience. I can uh, create a different, different video altogether for my exam strategy and how much time uh, did I take for practice and preparation and what all uh, study material I did followed regarding everything but this will be a short video just uh, be uh, like you know uh, with me and one more uh, material i mean in this uh, video i will be sharing one more thing with you that is one pdf uh, that i have taken uh, today itself you can see the date and this is uh, absolutely new pdf and i have prepared from this and you may expect around 90 to 95 person person questions from here itself so you will get absolutely free so somewhere uh, between the video i will give the link you can download it uh, from directly from here do, do not need to buy uh, this pdf from any of the site so uh, let's begin the video so first of all uh, like let me give a small uh, overview of this exam so this is basically for devops specialists devops as in like you know people are responsible uh, for these days these devops profile is usually uh, are quite demanding and this these uh, people and these days company has given a good name they call it site reliability engineers so site reliability engineers are those who basically uh, deploy the new uh, application to multiple servers preparing servers preparing CICD, uh, handling uh, Jira or boards. So all those things uh, they have experience in Kubernetes, PowerShell, uh, Shape, Puppet, Terraform. So a lot of uh, things are associated with um, and DevOps and there are n number of uh, tools that usually people integrate like SonarQue, VeraQue, multiple gates, and also in these days and previously when cloud was not there so that time usually people use jenkins but these days people has uh, azure uh, devops aws devops and lot other so in this uh, video i'll just talk about this uh, azure devops so uh, in the exam basically i have taken a proctor based exam where i got uh, 50 percent discount from my company so i use my company's uh, email address but due to some reason they are giving 50 percent if you can check uh, just check you with your company's profile company's email address you may get 100 percent but for me i have to pay around 2800 rupees additional so that is one uh, like you know thing and one more thing uh, there is option for reschedule so in the very first time i rescheduled the exam because my uh, preparation was not so good so i have rescheduled it to one day so that is possible if you reschedule it before 24 hours you, you can reschedule it to maybe one week or one day or whatever you feel so do not hesitate if you are not prepared if you think it is, you are not prepared just uh, reschedule the exam uh, so in during the exam i got 43 questions and uh, out of which one case studies and case studies i cannot give the exact case study name but it is related to bank now you can understand what what case studies i got and there are five questions so fortunately i i these case studies was known to me and possibly i answered all of the five questions uh, correctly and quickly and there are uh, and and this exam i got the case study uh, in the very first time so usually uh, in my previous ex experience like 104 or 304 case studies to come at last but in this exam i got the case study at the very first time and there are then uh, like you know some 38 other question 34 i think and there are seven yes no questions so total of five question from case studies seven yes no and rest all like you know uh, uh, other questions and there are multiple questions there are multiple choice there are uh, like you know single choice there are multiple uh, ch uh, responses that we need to select and the the difficult part was there are like you know uh, thing that we need to uh, rearrange in sequence so there are five tiles that we need to rearrange in sequence there are three tiles was there that we need to rearrange in sequence so those are pretty difficult because there are maybe six tiles out of which you need to uh, rearrange four tiles but one good thing they have given like if it is like you know five tiles you cannot basically fit six tile over there so they are saying they uh, they in in the question itself and uh, it, it it was said like you know 
you need to uh, drag only five tiles if you try to drag six so yeah, it, it won't work basically so that is one point they have given one validation but other than that those questions are pretty uh, difficult now the time was 140 minutes so which is more than sufficient and you need to uh, if you are going for a proctor exam you need to join 30 minutes earlier to uh, check exam like you know uh, formalities and check in so 140 minutes is quite sufficient i did a review like you know so what has happened during the exam so 18 out of 43 question 18 question basically i mark as review because i was not sure about the answers so exam was slightly difficult i would say it's not very difficult but compared to 305 my previous experience the exam is difficult compared to 104 it is easy so you can now understand and compared to 900 it is definitely difficult so it is slightly on difficult sized so i have marked 19 question uh, as review and then I come back and I, I uh, did uh, check all the answers and fortunately I changed one of the answers. So that is uh, one and the next, uh, but before going into like, you know, next part, let us, uh, uh, let us show my credential. So if you see, uh, I scored uh, 833 out of uh, 1000 and the 700 was pass mark. And you can see like I did better in source control, basically Git. So I have a good exposure to uh, Git and Azure boards. I have a good exposure to uh, like, you know, pipeline. But there are a few areas where I lack. You can see these two areas I lack because infrastructure and communication, those areas I have a little less experience. So I lagged um, behind it behind a little bit. So you can see I scored 833, which is, which is pretty decent. I would say it's not very high, but it's okay uh, for pass and if you see this is my certificate that they have given now there is one question like you know whether we can take az400 directly or not in everywhere it is written like they are prerequisite but i am saying you can directly take az400 uh, so there is one like you know thing in az400 or this 305 those dependent exam basically so if you, you can check like you know if you take az400 directly you can pass the exam this exam you, you may pass but you you won't get that uh, like you know three star uh, certificate so basically to get this three star certificate you need to either uh, go for az 104 or az 204 104 is a admin and 204 is is a developer so one of them you need to pass along with that you need to take the exam but even if you uh, like you know want to take this one uh, at the very first time you can take this after that you can also take this so afterward you will get this three star certification that is also possible but better to like you know uh, go with 104 or 204 after that you can take the az 400 if you are planning so now coming back to uh, my uh, exam experience simulator so you might be uh, skeptical about simulator because in the pdf you can see a lot of simulator question you may skip the simulator because simulator is not coming uh, at least in proctor based exam uh, from, like you know exam taken from home simulator are not coming i also did check with few of my, my friends they told simulator uh, questions are not coming so you can directly skip those all 50 simulator questions so that is one relief and then the question is lab so there is no lab in the exam like if you are taking proctor exam be 305 be 400 be 204 there is no lab uh, if you are taking from home proctor based exam but if you see in over internet over youtube they are saying labs are there i don't know why they are telling lie uh, but still like this is a fact you can trust me as of as on date there is no lab on 400 or 204 earlier it was there like maybe uh, one and a half year back when people used to i mean uh, three years back when people used to take exam from uh, Promatrix center or pearson view center that time it was there but if you are taking it from home no labs no need to uh, but you need to practice it that is one, one thing but for that particular exam you may not need to uh, take the uh, like you know labs and last but not least like you know this is the url that i have uploaded this entire pdf of uh, 382 so out of which possibly you can skip the simulator questions and uh, one more thing i have already told right there are three case studies here so you can just uh, prepare the bank case studies that is coming so rest all rest two you can skip it so that is all uh, uh, from for az 400 if you need a separate video of exam preparation or uh, how i have memorized those uh, questions and answer what was like my plan and all then i can prepare a few other videos uh, just let me know in the comment below and download this material 
and uh, if you are planning for uh, AZ400, best of luck for your exam. Thank you.